Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barashim Rakadash, Barakatah, bless you, Yahweh, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Barakatah, bless you, Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son, the Heavenly Father, Barashim Rakadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and was taught this truth. Peace, blessing, salutations to the whole full elect. This is uh, Psalms chapter 51, verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. Alright, in this whole chapter, the Psalm of David, the 51st chapter, is a beautiful chapter. Alright, but the ninth verse all right, is very important because we need this mercy. Alright, the sure mercies of David. We need the Lord to hide his face from our sins and to blot out all of our iniquities. Alright, because as is written in Romans, the third chapter, all has uh, sinned and fallen short to the glory of the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, I quoted it, but I'm going to grab it for, for Akim. Okay. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. All right. Now back into uh, Psalms 51. This is the Hebrew, Psalms 51. Hasatar panyaka machataya wako awanteya macha. All right, ha satar. All right, ha sa ta and a ra. The two at the end, ta and a ra, connect, so it's a tar. Ha satar, which means high. All right, panyaka. It's a pa, a na, a ya, and a ka. All right, the pa and the na. All right, they connect. Pan, ya, ka, panyaka. All right, it's a machataya. A ma, a ha, a ta, a a. And the ya, the ta and the a connect to make a ta, is machataya, all right, which is my is for my sins. Panyaka, th thy face, all right. The ka at the end is your or thy, all right. Pan is face, ya is possessive, so thy face, all right, for my sins, all right. It's wako wa ka and la, wa of course means and, ko all right is o wako. I want the ya. I wa na ta ya. The wa and the na connect. One, I want the ya. I want, all right, is, is iniquities. All right. I want the ya. My iniquities. The ya at the end makes it possessive. All right. Last word is macha. Ma, ha, and ha. The ka and the ha connect. Macha, which means blot out. All the way through is Hasatar Panyaka Machataya Wako Awantaya Macha. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Alright? And we need the Lord to do that because this is the book of Psalms, chapter 130, verse 3. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Alright? Again, because we have all sinned. Alright? We need the mercy of the Heavenly Father. Alright? So we are able to stand. Alright? Stand boldly before the throne of grace, all right, and also to be able to stand in the evil day when the wrath of the Lord is upon the ungodly, okay? We want to be protected in that day, all right? This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 32, all right, and verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no God, okay? Those are blessed men, all right? And those are the 144,000, okay? Those are the men whom the Lord has redeemed from the foundation of the earth, all right? To receive the sure mercies of David, all right? For their iniquities, all right? To be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, all right? This is the book of Revelation, all right? Chapter 14. Starting from the top, it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay? Those are the, the hundred and forty-four thousand. Those are those that are iniquity. The Lord's going to blot out their iniquities, all right, and forgive them of their sins. All right? Verse 2, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. 
And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth. All right. The new song is this gospel. It's this message. It's the teachings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it's a new song because no one's ever heard this message upon the planet earth. All right. Until now. Okay. It's from the beginning. All right. It says which were redeemed from the earth because for, before the earth was formed, these men were chosen. All right. To receive the mercy of the heavenly father. Verse four. These are they which were not defiled with women, all right, which is just different philosophies, all right? For they are virgins, which means pure. These are they which follow the Lamb, whosoever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Yahweh and to the Lamb. Verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Heavenly Father, okay? They're, they're without sin, okay? They're not going to be judged according to, all right, the law, okay? Because the blood of Yahweh Shai covers them. Okay? Alright. And uh, I'm going to grab this real quick. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 8. Alright. In the first verse. Romans 8 and 1. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Alright? Those that are in Yahweh Shai, the 144,000, the elect, all right, there's no condemnation. They're not going to be destroyed, all right, according to the law, okay? Because they're in Yahweh Shai. And what's the characteristic of those men? They walking after the flesh, but after the spirit, okay? They're constantly seeking after the Lord, like King David. What, he was a man after the Most High's heart, all right? In the house of David, when the Lord is raising up in these last days, the elect, all right, they're also men after the Most High's heart. All right, they walk at, they walk according to the spirit. All right, so Lord Wilms is an edifying video. I'm gonna give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Yahweh I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who's taught his truth. I'm gonna give peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. All right, the sincere laborers and believers in this truth. Okay, Shalom.